We are in Botswana, Africa. So we are on a safari truck on our way out to meet the Bushmen. This is as wild as it gets. <laughs> And this is where the Junqua live. And they've invited us to learn their ways and take the scorpion challenge. Teasing the scorpion out of a hole with a stick. Go like this? Okay, so this episode is going to be incredible. If we can get out of bed first. Good morning. How are you? Actually, we're not doing so great. Time to go meet the Bushman, buddy. <sighs> On our way here, Archer got sick. Whoa. Then he gave it to River. Achoo. So Archer's down for the count. Wakey, wakey. And now, so is River. I feel like I could run a marathon, but my belly is not on par with that. I can do it. No, I can't. So this adventure is up to me. Going and teasing scorpions and trying to make fire. But I don't feel like a hero. Maybe hot chocolate will help. Oh my gosh, it's so good. We've got this, right River? You'll hold a scorpion, right Archer? No. All right team, you guys ready for adventure? Yes! Yeah, we're doing this. How you doing, River? Uh, I've been promoted as cameraman. When Wilder films, he sort of films anything other than what he's supposed to be filming. So I'll be filming, don't worry. Okay, everyone, into the truck. It's safari time. Wilder, you coming up? My dad and I will be riding in the top. All right, from here we're gonna be heading straight to the Bushmen. The name of their tribe, they're called the Junquas. Bye! Okay, we are headed to meet the Bushmen. We are leaving the comfort of Camp Kalahari and heading out into the desert where the Bushmen are able to survive using skills that have been passed on for generations. But first, we have to get there. This is the bumpy seat up here. And you have to dodge branches. Dad and I will enjoy the sights from the canopy while the patients rest up below. Oh, uh, River's up. River, how you doing, buddy? Yeah! Uh, BK, how we doing this morning? Uh, all doing good, eh? I'm going my father. If you think the desert is empty, think again. It is teeming with life, like zebra and wildebeest. And these guys. That is a little jackal. So you can see there's uh, two jackals over there. That jackal was running away from something, so I just want to see what's happening around here. If BK thinks there's lions, we are up for a detour. So this up here is where we saw the elephants and lions yesterday. With so many jackals and vultures and bones, we know the lions are here. There's a zebra carcass up here that the lions are feeding on. There's a pride of lions hiding in the bushes. They're watching scavengers move in on their carcass. You can see how they are very active because they know that lions might still come back. If a lion catches a jackal, it will kill it. Unaware, they fight amongst themselves. If the jackals aren't careful, the lioness is going to get them. Oh, she's up. And the jackals don't see her. She sees it now, she sees it. She's slinking towards the carcass and getting closer. The jackals are distracted. She's making her move. And the jackals run for their lives. Triumphant, she returns to snack on her carcass while the jackals and vultures look on. I could watch these lions all day, but we've got an appointment with a scorpion. Only minutes from where the lion killed the zebra, we arrive to meet the tribe. Money, money, Tambos. As our ambassador, I make my entrance. We greet with a fist bump. I'm led into the village, where introductions are done one at a time. Kayo. Kayo. 
Their language is a series of clicks and pops. The main purpose of to come here is to teach the guests how you used to live. They start by teaching us some of their survival secrets. They start in their native language before repeating it in English. Crush it and blow on our body. They use the wild sage as mosquito repellent. Where we see only dirt, they see food. She's digging to get to the bulb. It's sort of like a big onion, and apparently it's pretty nutritious. They had me nibble on some leaves. It's a bit like chalky, although I'm not sure why. <laughs> they turn thorns into sewing needles and toothpicks. And then we talked about hunting. So the tree is called a poison grape comifera. They use the larva from under this tree to create poison for their arrow tips. And then it was time for our first challenge. Before we can hold a scorpion, we have to prove we're worthy by starting a fire. Their process is amazingly simple. It starts with zebra dung, crumbled into dry grass. And then they use their sandals? Yes, sandals. He's going to use friction to heat up the zebra dung. Suddenly, it's my turn. It is not as easy as it looks. Everyone pitches in. It's a real team effort. All of a sudden, there's smoke. We're close, but we have to keep the friction going. He's amazing, eh? He's amazing. Things are heating up, and everyone's getting excited. We've got a small ember and now it's smoldering. We transfer the embers into the pile of grass. And just like that, zebra poop fire. I feel hands taking off my hat. And then I'm one of them. And I've passed the test. We have fire. Okay, it's time for me to hold a scorpion. I'm not so sure I want to do this. And please remember, don't try this at home. They found a scorpion hole. Well, are you ready to hold scorpion? I want you to hold it first. They're prepping the area to make the scorpion easier to catch. So BK, you're gonna hold the scorpion first, right? So I'm going to hold it, and I uh, won't breathe. Teasing the scorpion out of a hole with a stick. At first, I don't see the scorpion. And then all of a sudden, it's out and angry. Oh, he's filled the hole back up so the scorpion can't get away. With great care, they tease it out into the open. And then pick it up with their bare hands. What are you saying, Skookie? No, I'm not gonna hold it. So, I'm already freaking out, and then he puts it in his mouth? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. He's cleaning it for us. Then I realize, I think he's calming it down. A bushman goes first and shows us how it's done. And then to prove it's safe, I make my dad go first. I can't believe Dad actually did that. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Wilder, you can, you can look away. No, just... Wilder, you went across a canyon, buddy. Normally, I'm the daredevil in the family. And everyone's surprised when I hesitate. Oh, uh, hey, River, wake up. This is kind of your thing. He's the one who's held all the weird, creepy things in our episodes. Oh good, he's doing it. Like flat, flat. So he can't hold on to anything. And he's done it. Uh, I like holding a spider. 
Do you wather you up? Just do it for you, buddy. Oh no, even Archer's Ooh. doing it. I am holding a real live scorpion. Good go. The only person left is me. Okay, I'll do it. Okay. So like this? Okay, I did it. You saw it. So there's nothing else to see here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Yup, go watch something else now. Okay, fine. I dropped the scorpion. Yeah. Uh, do we really need the slow mo? <laughs> okay, I'm fine to leave it to the professionals. We said our goodbyes to the Bushmen. And as we watched them walk into the distance, we wondered what the Kalahari had in store for us next. Now back to bed.